Hang on, two shakes. Knew I forgot something. Got to get everything done myself around here, so unfortunately things get left to the last second, which means that we some minor problems. Okay, that's better. Now, hopefully everybody can hear me as well as see me. If you can, thank you very much for joining us for tonight. Time is just about past 8. 45, and we're seeing again some very quiet conditions into the Mid-South area for this evening. Beautiful weather out there, a little bit on the warm side out across much of the area. So as we go into the rest of the forecast for tonight, we may be seeing again the possibility of a few stray showers and thunderstorms out there. That is going to be the main problems that we look at for later on this evening. But in the meantime, we're not really getting too much of anything to worry about, at least just yet. We'll talk more about that in the complete forecast in just a little bit. If you are just joining us, again, please uh, thanks, or thank you very much for stopping on by. Glad to have you here and to get you online and to see what's going on. If you have any questions, concerns, anything like that, if you're on Periscope or Twitter, please make certain that you uh, drop the line into the comments section. I'm trying to get the chat working once again, but still having some problems at this time getting that taken care of. But tweet them to me or email them at austin.onic at wreg.com. We'd be glad to have you along for the ride. It is a quiet Sunday night. We are now live on Facebook as well. So thanks to everybody for joining us uh, all across the internet. Looking at a very warm day tomorrow. Forecast information available here in the blue bar. Social media information available here, also up there, and also again on that screen right over there. So if you'd like to know more about where to find us, again, wreg.com slash weather is going to be one of the best places you can possibly go to. Currently in the Mid-South, a few clouds here and there, really not much more than that. Things are very quiet at St. Francis in Cordova. Traffic on Germantown Parkway, decently heavy for a Sunday night. Little hazy at Germantown City Hall at this time. We are getting, again, some patchy possibilities of fog overnight, and that could be something to be concerned about if you are going to be doing uh, anything outdoors driving around tomorrow, getting the kids to school, especially in parts of the Mid-South around northwest Tennessee, northeast Arkansas. That's where we could see a lot more activity like this and a lot more dense fog across much of the area. Currently on radar, we really do not have much of anything going on. We did see a few scattered light showers taking place over parts of southeast Missouri and back into around northeast Arkansas, close to the boot hill. You can see a little bit of that activity right back up around Thayer, Missouri, just north of the Koshkanong area, just briefly making its way into an appearance there before dwindling, and there really is not much more than that at this point, but there will be more chances of rainfall as we get into the forecast, and we'll talk a little bit more about that coming up here in just a little bit. The main story for tonight is, of course, the fact that I can't seem to uh, plan ahead and get all this taken care of, so give me two shakes to get all this done, and now we'll talk more about the tropics. That's what I wanted to show you right there. So, in the meantime, here's what it looks like out there. Good evening to everybody joining us on Facebook page. Uh, currently looking at Maria into and around the area of just past the eastwards of the Leeward Islands, and that is our next storm system to definitely watch. Uh, Lee, a little farther out into around the Atlantic, tropical depression, not much to worry about there and just off the east coast states which you can see over here on the left hand side of your screen we do have again more to worry about here with Hurricane Jose. Found to get a little bit stronger winds, gusts of over 90 miles per hour briefly, taking it to Category 2 status earlier this afternoon, uh, just within those winds inside, according to the Hurricane Hunters, but it is still officially a Category 1 storm. So we do still have three storms to deal with. Again, Lee is a tropical depression. Not much of anything to be seen on this one for the Mid-South. We continue again to watch this very carefully. Jose heading up the East Coast states. Uh, winds of about 90 miles per hour, so that's a strong Category 1 hurricane. Maria, again, winds of 80 miles per hour. That also is going to be uh, something to watch. Here's the problem that we have at this time. Maria expected to be, in within the next 36 hours, is going to be a major hurricane. That's Category 3 and above, winds of 120 miles per hour, right over the Leeward Islands, heading toward Puerto Rico, and then making its way back up to around the area around Hispaniola, the Bahamas, Haiti, not good news again for especially this area that got clobbered by Irma just a couple of weeks ago. Here's the other problem that we're looking at. If you're in the Mid-South area, 
and you're planning on uh, heading back to South Florida, you've sheltered up here for a while, uh, you're thinking about going back on home pretty soon, may want to wait and see what goes on with this storm system because the closer it gets to Florida and the Bahamas, uh, this could be a major life-threatening hurricane coming up relatively soon. So again, this is something we're going to have to really watch into the next couple of days. Now models again for the area into and around Jose, just off the east coast of the United States. So far, again, the good news at this time, it looks like the models are taking Jose out to the Atlantic and out into the colder waters of the Atlantic over the next several days. But once again, as we saw over the last several days with what was a tropical storm, then a hurricane, Jose looping the loop and coming back around again. Some of these computer models are doing pretty much exactly the same thing, taking it back toward the southwest and into the next few days might even aim back toward the uh, east coast again. So that could be something that we're going to have to watch out for as we look into the next couple of days. Now, that again is Jose. Let me switch over here for just a second and take a look at Maria as we add in more information about that. Again, what we're seeing so far is this storm down just to the east of the Lesser Antilles. I'm going to add all the computer models in here, which again have this thing going right up and over the Bahamas, right north of Hispaniola, Dominican Republic, Haiti in that area. And this is going to be again the possibility of this thing going over the Bahamas and very close to around the area, coming close to around uh, Florida once again. The Keys, possibly. The Gulf, maybe. A little too early for that, but again, notice that these computer models are lined up quite nicely, and that is not good news uh, for this next couple of days as we see this system get a little closer to this area. So this is going to be something that, again, you need to watch, especially if you're going back toward Florida, the Carolinas, or the Gulf into the next couple of days. This is something that we could see a possible problem out there. Good evening to everybody on Facebook. Uh, thanks to, again, sticking around for uh, the evening. And if you could, definitely want to share our video out there, let people know what's going on. So be feel free. Also on Twitter and Periscope, if you want to retweet our uh, video and let people know more about what's happening uh, into the Mid-South area. So thank you very much for stopping on by for tonight. We'll keep an eye on all those systems into the next few days. So keep an eye on that with News Channel 3. Little, if anything, expected for tonight, but there will be the possibility again of some patchy fog in the Mid-South. We had a storm system pass just north of us and this thing was our best bet of getting some rainfall. It's going to be deflected back to the north. Notice the area of high pressure here doing a very good job of moving that front away from us back toward the north. So that's going to be it for anything involving rainfall chances for us. Our next best chance of rainfall will be scattered across the area into the next couple of days as a passing warm front again gets deflected away from us and heads back toward the Great Lakes once again. We're not going to be seeing at this time anything from uh, Jose, so good news on that. Could be a hurricane right on into Wednesday as it gets closer to around uh, Cape Cod and the tri-state area off Long Island Sound so we'll be watching that. Early tomorrow morning, again, we could be watching for the possibility of some more uh, showers and thunderstorms. This again for 9 o'clock tonight, 10 o'clock. Uh, let me see if I can get, a, get this advanced. The high-resolution rapid refresh model. And again, as we go into very early tomorrow morning, we see again the possibility of a few more scattered showers and thunderstorms starting to develop just into eastern Arkansas. And that will be for around about uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. So as the kids head off to school, may not be too much rainfall at first, but then there will be more chances of that rainfall developing into the Mid-South. Low temperatures tonight will be back into the mid to upper 60s to right around the lower 70s. 70s in the metro area. Patchy fog could be a problem overnight. Could be some scattered showers mixed in with that in northeast Arkansas, the Boot Hill, and extreme northwestern areas of Tennessee. High temperatures tomorrow pushing 90 degrees once again. Chances of rainfall greatest along and north of a line from Dyersburg to Jonesboro. Boot Hill, northeast Arkansas, very close to where we have that leftover cold front sticking around just north of us. Winds tomorrow not cooling anybody off, mainly out of the south, and that's going to be about as good as it gets, and low temperatures back into the lower 70s as we head into 
tomorrow night. We'll have more details on the forecast coming up again a little bit later. We'll show you a little bit more about social media here in just a little while. I want to make certain everybody knows about this. We've had a lot of questions about the fires out west. We do a lot in the tropics, but what's going on out west? Fortunately, today, the good news is that there are no new incidents taking place, but a lot of these fires out here, thousands of acres, a lot of them are not even close to contain. So we do not have any good news where this is concerned. Little, if anything, going Going on uh, in some of these fires with thousands of, of acres on fire and this is again something that the fire uh, situation out there is not good. Uh, this information from the United States Department of Agriculture under the Forest Service. If you'd like to see more about this and keep an eye on what's going on, the smoke plumes out that direction are being limited to the California coastline and into and around the Intermountain Cascades from Washington State through the Northern Rockies and seeing again better possibilities of smoke from those fires held out west and kind of diminished too a little bit and that's good news because of the fact that the rains from out west the snowfall recently did a good job of kind of quashing those down by just a little bit. So if you'd like to know more about this, we'll post the links for those. Or if you'd like to know more about them, send me an email link. And thanks to everybody for sending in pictures as well. Kay McPherson, a beautiful view of fog from out the back door in Hardeman County uh, earlier tonight. Great opportunity to see more about that. If you have pictures, we would love to see them. So send them along to me on my Facebook page, on Facebook, also on Twitter at twitter.com slash aonic underscore WREG3. And tons of pictures available on my Instagram page. That's at instagram.com slash aonic, uh, no underscore necessary, aonic WREG3. Tracking the tropics, keeping an eye on sunrise and sunset and a lot of other great opportunities for more pictures out there so please feel free to send those along if you'd like to see more about what's going on with my forecast all you have to do is check in at wreg.com first day of fall will be friday starts at about 302 in the afternoon and it will feel nothing like fall should be feeling like unfortunately as we see uh, temperatures back into the mid to upper 80s over the next several days so not much good news here by the time we hit next week, next next week, I should say, after the first full weekend of autumn goes on through, still feeling like summertime, but hopefully we get there with no major problems. That's where we see some very warm temperatures continue, but maybe a little bit less on the hot side. At least that's where we're hoping for anyway. Check out my forecast for the rest of the weekend at Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3, and I'll be back online with Bob and Josh tomorrow morning on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. You can catch me 7 to 9 a.m. on the forecast there, or if you can't listen on the radio because you're too far away, dial up talkbacklivenetwork.org and listen to Bob and Josh, and we'll have tons of information available there for you to keep you updated. I'll have updates tonight on News Channel 3 at 10, the late edition following the Emmys wrapping up on CBS. And Todd Demers will have more on his complete forecast coming up bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Thanks to everybody on Periscope and Twitter for joining me, and thanks for more to everybody on Facebook as well. And stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the week for more updates on your forecast and tons of information. And good luck to News Channel 3's Jim Jaggers. It's getting close to Go Jim Go, so almost time to get that on the way. Wheels are turning pretty soon, so tune in for more as we help out Labonner for another year of Jim peddling around the mid South. Thanks for joining me tonight. I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online.